Hello, I'm Ian Scales, you're watching Telecom TV, and I'm reporting from Smart IoT London. I'm talking with Alejandra Leon, who is, works for Inter IKEA Systems. Alejandra, welcome. Thank you. Um, I want to talk to you about where you fit in in terms of IKEA. You know, are you helping design furniture? Are you enabling it with technology? Tell me a little bit about your role. Great. I'm an IT architect at the Digital Business Unit of Intraikia Systems. And um, Intraikia Systems uh, is the owner of the IKEA concept and it, they is the worldwide franchisor of IKEA. So um, we have different companies in IKEA and one of the companies is IKEA of Sweden and then they develop uh, and they produce the furniture. So they are investing a lot in which is the smart home. And what we do in Intraikea Systems is try to develop the concept. And one way that we uh, found that it's possible to do this is with digital products. And uh, we have uh, used augmented reality into the digital catalog and in the application. So that uh, uh, gives us the opportunity to explore uh, different things that we will not be possible to do otherwise, like for example, uh, like put uh, all the furniture in this virtual reality room and then that they or um, customers can see it how we look like and so on or uh, yeah launch a video in different language uh, and so on yeah. okay well tell, tell us a little about yourself i mean we all came to iot from different directions didn't we what made you want to get into it iot is it a, a sort of passion of yours yeah, I'm, a, I'm an engineer, so um, I, yeah, I love uh, code and um, I love technology and innovation. I have been involved quite a lot in that area in IKEA with innovation. Um, so I just think it's a very interesting uh, area because you can solve problems and especially with IKEA where we are trying to, we are trying to make the life of the many people much better. Uh, we can incorporate many of the uses of IoT into that, you know, I I even if it's to um, for uh, different kinds of purpose, in this case for the catalog, but it could also be for marketing uh, material or could be also for the products as well and so on. So okay, so it's, it's very broad. Um, what are some of the things that you've developed so far for IKEA? What, what are some of the areas that IKEA have already got into? Yeah. Um, we wor always work uh, in a team, so we have this togetherness in IKEA, so it's not just one person working in a project. I have worked in uh, apps, yeah, developing apps and with agile development. So we have uh, produced several apps uh, that address different things for our customers. Uh, I also have worked uh, with the digital catalog as well and with augmented reality. Uh, we have try to innovate more uh, that area because we have this print catalog that uh, it's, uh, yeah, is, is the largest print uh, production in the world. Uh, even, uh, yeah, bigger than the Bible. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so we are trying to, you know, like sort of uh, bring some freshness uh, into that because the, the catalog is all about inspiration. And IKEA products are all about like sort of satisfying the needs of the many people. So yeah. tell me some of the some of the areas that you think are, are going to be really useful to IKEA. What are what are some of the things that you're exploring at the moment because you think they would make a nice addition to the range? Um, I think there are several areas that uh, we are exploring. We are uh, in terms of, for example, data taking decisions with the data. Um, I know IKEA of Sweden are, are doing a lot of research in terms of the smart home. Um, uh, as in Inter-IKEA systems, we are trying to use also that in order to develop more the concept. So yeah, it's the, uh, several initiatives going on yes. around IKEA. There's so much scope, isn't there? Because you, could yeah. you, you think about all of the capabilities that you get with, with um, IoT style products, and what you could do with them. Your imagination just runs wild, doesn't it? Can you can you think of anything that you've done which you think would is, is quite extraordinary as far as uh, a retailer, for instance? I mean, maybe it's not the products; it might be the environment in which you you sell the products that you can use the technology to enable a, uh, an experience there. I, I think IKEA has done amazing things. I mean, uh, recently they have launched this uh, range of lamps that you can uh, charge your phone, and uh, because we have. Um, yeah, this way, this holistic approach that uh, the products have also have to be affordable, then, uh, you know, like sort of our designers and our product developers, they use a lot of uh, skills in order to produce, uh, yeah, things that they 
follow and they're innovative and uh, but at the same time are uh, yeah they are affordable for all our customers now when you're looking at the the technologies that are available to you what's what's missing you know wh where do you think the industry needs to you know sharpen its approach and and provide tools and capabilities that you might require as a kind of I IOT architect uh, yeah, there is several things. I think in terms, for example, of big data, there's been a lot of conversation in relation to that. But actually, when you hear even big companies, um, they're still in early stages of, of that journey. Uh, so it will help, you know, in order to take some decisions, business decisions, to have all of that, uh, to, to have all these insights from the data and so on. And still, you know, there is a lot of silos in companies of information that they, we are not able to integrate. So that's one area that I think if in the future improves, then it can bring a lot of value to all the business. Yes. So in, in your role as a, as a, as a kind of um, IT architect, of course, you can see how important the use of data and data cross-referring different sorts of data can be in a retail business like IKEA, can't you? Absolutely. I think uh, in my role as an IT architect, you know, I try to develop some frameworks and uh, I see data as one Im uh, important component into that because you know we can take uh, a lot of decisions based on the insights that the data can bring us. And you know it's data from the customers, but it's also yes. data that we have from uh, market research, for consumer intelligence, and so on. So, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it brings a lot of value to it can our be decisions. Very powerful. Now I see that you've also done some work with um, Google Cardboard, which is more. It's about virtual reality, really, isn't it? About 3D. Yeah, that's 3D thing my other side. Like oh, I work okay. quite a lot of in innovation. So it's yeah. still for IKEA. I have worked quite a lot with uh, uh, in uh, yeah using innovation. And um, I went to the startup weekend in Eindhoven, and I won the first prize. Uh, and we use Google Cardboard. So um, yeah, we use the SDK to develop a product that you can see some uh, yeah pieces of item in uh, in real moment right. you know with virtual reality because uh, we discover a gap in the market that uh, many shops in the Netherlands uh, the space that they have is quite limited so they are not able to display their products like IKEA does usually IKEA is uh, yeah it has we have very big stores so um, yeah that uh, the concept uh, worked quite well they like it uh, it was a prototype state of course because in a startup weekend you uh, you have this experience uh, in around three days and you know everything is done very quickly so at the end of the day you just have a prototype but the idea was there and it was quite successful yeah so you can you, you can envisage people having a, a virtual walk through an ikea store because that's how you use ikea you kind of walk around it don't you yeah absolutely and i think uh, <coughs> just recently as well has been done some work in uh, in the area of kitchens as well to see you know how uh, some features of a furniture are um, you know, like you can even see it if you are, uh, like let's imagine that you're a child, you will be able to, you know, reach until here and see the piece of furniture and so on. So yeah, it is very exciting, you know, all the uh, functionality that you can give. So how, how soon are we going to see virtual reality headsets um, applied in IKEA stores perhaps where there's uh, not enough space? Yeah, I don't know about that <laughs> because I think uh, yeah, that's a journey. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we are, you know, like sort of preparing ourselves for uh, uh, all the new things that are coming yes. and you know for especially because we are a very customer centric company it's important to yeah to have uh, uh, products that they can serve the many people. Alejandro thank you very much that's okay. very interesting. Thank you.